Kangax the Lich has been defeated, and we have his very powerful ring to aid us in destroying Bodhi and Aranicus, and anyone else that we will face in the future. Kangax was one of the most difficult battles that we've had, but we had a secret weapon. Scrolls versus Undead that would make Undead ignore us, which really helped when he turned into his final form. So between Kangax and Bodhi, these two creatures have served as great evil in the city of Athkatla. One has been removed, now all we must do is take care of the other. Unfortunately, Bodhi is the more cunning, and has a number of undead supporting her. She may be weaker and less powerful than Kangax alone, but she more than makes up for that with all of her minions. We will have to be ready when we go to face her, as ready as we can be, that is. We have one last place to go seek aid before we confront her. The Temple of Helm will surely be able to spare a few clerics for this. What little ability that I have left to feel emotionally good now has taken over. I feel excited. Happy. A little of it. It's just barely there, but it is there. The loss of my soul hasn't taken it away completely. We are nearly finished, and so is Arenicus and his forces. This I can sense. My intuition was very powerful before losing my soul, but my soul is still tied to me in some way. Some small, tiny, threadbare tether still ties me to it. It's not completely gone. Not yet. In time, that may happen. It hasn't happened to Emma one yet, and she had hers removed before I lost mine. Though she's not completely her old self, she still is her happy-go-lucky self much of the time. She has her moments of despair and panic, but we both work together to help one another when the ill feelings take us. Yes, things have improved and will only continue to do so. We come for you, Bodhi, very soon. We're to confront Bodhi, Quickly but first I thought it'd be important if we go to the Helm hem Temple to Helm to request aid and against be judged. Her. Ah, Sir Jantis and Lady Orin, the priest here is talking to us. Be welcome. I have been expecting you. If you are ready to commit to the Alliance of Life with each other, then follow me, please. Uh, who are you? I am Priest Antonius, loyal servant of Helm. I will preside at your wedding, if you wish it. No, that's not why we've come. We still have work to do. As you say, my lady, come to me when you're ready. I will wait for you. Without hesitation. Hello, High Watcher Osig. May Helm watch over you and guard you from danger in your future endeavors, Orn. Now, if you'll excuse me, there is much I must attend to. I have come to ask for Helm's aid in a matter of utmost importance, High Watcher. In this, as in all things, Helm shall perform his duty. What is the matter, Orn? Tell me, and I shall tell you how Helm may aid you. I must do battle with a powerful vampire here in the city, and I cannot face her alone. I ask for the church's aid. I know of this vampire, Bodhi, yes? Helm knows that she endangers all. We are guardians, servants. I wish we could join you in the struggle, but you can't? But we have nothing to aid you with. I would suggest you approach the paladins of the Radiant Heart if you have not already. I have given you my decision. Now, you may go. Okay. Well, this will not take we didn't long. lose anything then, because we can go to the Radiant Heart. I'm sure they'll send help. Hello. I have a duty for you to perform. It has been requested of us that we assist the Temple of Lathander in their dispute with the worshippers of Talos. Oh. Okay, well. Lathander is my god. We have remained neutral in this matter, but the balance of the situation has shifted. And should one side gain dominance over the other, there will be chaos. Go. Speak with Dawnbringer Sane, my counterpart in the Hall of Lathander. Helm be your guide through the halls of friends and the trials of enemies. I suppose we have no choice. Let's go. Orin, can we talk about Ajantis? Sure. What do you want to talk about? Well, you know, as a paladin and all, with his responsibilities to the Order, he's going to be away a lot. We've already talked about that. I think we'll be fine. He's a great guy and all, but does he make you happy? <laughs> I smile. Yes, he does. That's good news. If you're happy, then I'm happy. Oh, I can't wait for the wedding. Yes, we postponed it so you can come in one. If it must be done. Go to Dawnbringer Sane, and then we'll go 
to the Radiant Heart. It will be done. Dawnbringer Sane. That sword I much approve of it compared to the previous one that uh, Minsk has. The other one. I welcome Lilacor. you with outstretched hand. Blessed be the dawn. Do you require the services of Lithander? I'd like to see what you have to offer. Do you have any pushes of healing, but we want... Protection from undead. Perhaps he sells two of these. Perhaps we'll have need of that in the future. Raise dead. Restoration. It worked very well against Kangax, actually, when he was in his final form. Okay, we need to find Dawnbringer Certainly. Sane, and he said, we're told that Dawnbringer Sane is not in this part of the temple. It's gotta be, he's on the other side. I think that's probably it. I'm listening. I wonder what we have to do to resolve this dispute with the Temple of Talos. Ah, you must be Orin. High Watcher Oisig said, has said that he would send capable help. Are you ready to aid the house of the Morning Lord? I would do what I can to aid you. Good. The Morning Lord takes great pride in the artifacts of his rule. We have many items on display from new artworks to the age relics of bygone days. Today we are one less. We are the victims of thievery, and our followers have been shaken by this vulnerability. Quick steps must be taken to rectify this. Anything to be of service? We know the culprits. They have not concealed their crime. Talassians, slinking from their temple to degrade our worship, hired common thieves for the deed. They fear no retribution. The Morning Lord cannot suffer his relics in the hands of such evil. Find these thieves before the Talassians receive the items. The Spark of Dawn has lit the way. Go to the filth of the slums at night and intercept the thiever delivery of the Dawn Ring. Bring it back to its proper place. Expect resistance from the Talassians. Divination reveals their foul servant. Go and relieve one, the one called Traven of our rightful property. I will aid you. You shall have your relic back. Your reward will be suitable. Go to the slums during the night. If you can do this without bloodshed, all the better. But spare no wrath if necessary. Oh, we have plenty of wrath, but yes, without bloodshed would be best. It is night. Actually, it's very early in the morning. But if it's still dark out, we can do this. But first, since we're here, we'll go to the it will be done. heart. I don't know if we'll have time to get there before daylight comes, but we'll try. Huh. Again, Garrick? You're flirting with this woman? Yes, sir. Lady Erlana, I wish to, uh, proclaim my undying love for you. Yes, for you. By Torm, not again. <laughs> Patience, my lady. This could be amusing. Well, get on with it, then. Yes, um, okay. Lady Erlana, I am bedazzled by your beauty and awestruck by your nobility. What I would not do to spend an evening in your arms. Lady Erlana, I am bedazzled by your beauty and yawnstruck by your nobility. What I would not do to spend an evening in your barns. Arms, fool, arms. Arms, fool. I, uh, I meant arms. Yes, your arms. <laughs> Did you now, good sir? And what makes you think you'd be worthy to spend an evening in my arms? Well, it's easy. I, uh... I can never truly be worthy of a true lady of virtue, my love. I only desire that you see past my faults and give me a chance. Why not tell her how handsome and steadly I am, Sarando? Oh, uh, get over yourself, boy. 
I can never truly be worthy of a blue lady of virtue, my love. I only desire you, that you see past my faults and give me... me pants. Give you pants, good sir. Are you perchance missing a pair? Well, perhaps the gnome fellow standing behind our good Garrick has the answer to that. What say you, sir gnome? Eek! Discovered! Run for it, boy! As you will. That was terribly embarrassing. Garrick, you really are an idiot. I'm glad I never brought him into our group. Certainly. Have you ha had enough of that, Garrick? If I ever found a man who could speak as Garrick does, but with fluency and passion, then that man would have my heart, methinks. <laughs> okay, let's go speak to the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. I could you have cut that name down much shorter. Venturing forth. Without doubt. May the gods look upon you kindly. Greetings to you, Orin. In the name of the most noble order of the Radiant Heart, allow me to introduce myself. I am Squire Catharus, assistant to the prelate, Wesselin. I am young, but I have been following the tales of your many exploits. It is difficult to discern the truth, but whatever truth there is to these tales must still be quite exciting. I am pleased to finally meet you in person. I apologize, however. You likely came here with a purpose, and I am keeping you from it. Did... Did you have business with the Order, Orin? I intend to enlist the aid of the Order in battling a po powerful vampire that is in the city. A, a vampire? Such a terrible creature truly exists. Here in Athkatla. I I had no idea. You'd be surprised how many vampires and liches are here in the city, or were here in the city. But Bodhi's back. Yes, I'm sure she's created more vampires to help her. You must tell the prelate about this immediately. If there's such a pervasive evil in the city, I am sure the Order will do all it can to assist you. Come. The prelate is not out here. He's in the back offices. Says Agentis. Quickly and precisely. Ah, here he is. Without hesitation. Ah, Orin, I greet you on behalf of the Order of the Radiant Heart. Be welcome here in our hall. Do you have business with the Order? I do. I intend to do battle with a powerful coven of vampires here in the city, and I wish to request the Order's aid. I have heard of this vampire. Her name is Bodhi. But did you not destroy her and her guild at the beckoning of the Shadow Thieves? I destroyed her guild because I needed the aid of the Shadow Thieves, but I could not destroy her. She has returned to Athkatla, and has regained, regained her strength. Then she and her brood must be stopped, without question. Very well, Orn. The Order shall fight alongside you against this evil. When you go to the graveyard to face this creature, I shall send a group led by Sir William Rearak to fight by your side. They will meet you in the catacombs. In Torm's name, I pray that this is enough to defeat this evil once and for all. Go with my blessing, Orn. I have preparations that must be made. So we have the Shadow Thieves with us, we have the Most Noble Order of the Radiant Heart with us, we also have Dritzdo Erden and his companions out of ten towns in Icewind Dale. And they, a lot of, it's not just Dritz, the, the whole group is powerful apparently. Everybody's heard of Caddy Bry. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Brunor and Wolfgar. This will not take long. Yes, they had a huge battle against uh, some great evil. Everybody heard about that up in Icewind Dale a couple years ago. So, uh, now we go. So, I think we have everything that we need, but first, let's go was it to the slums. We have to intercept this thief, which I have no idea where he could be, but it's still, still it early in the morning. Done. We have time. The sun has not risen. Let's just do a search. Yes, our and weapons so and armor is now very, very powerful. I'm sure we have enough doing such great things. between our skills and our equipment to bring down Arenicus. Bodhi will be a good test, although we have defeated her before. Several times, actually, in the... Um, Spellhold. 
Is that the thief we're after? Standing here is waiting for somebody, probably for the Talassians to come and take the ring from him. So we'll try to do this without bloodshed. Hi, friend. Er, you. What do you want? Can't a man walk the streets at night without being bothered? Get off. Oh, but I think you and I should talk. Is your name Traven, by chance? W what of it? You. You from them Talassians? I got what you'd be looking for, but only for a price. Of course, tell me what your fee is, and I'll make sure you get it. I ain't gonna wait for payment. Now or never. That was the deal. 400 gold or no ring. Fine, here you go. Now, I'll take that ring, please. Thank you. Now, go to the red brick house with the red shingles on the roof of the copper coronet and speak with Borinol. He will give you the ring. Hmm. What? You don't have it with you? I smell a scam. Hand it over now. I, I don't have it, I swear. I'm just the contact. Talk to Borno. He'll give it to you. Honest. Fine. Good. Now return my gold and reflect on how close you have come to death. No way. It's mine fair and square. Damn, I knew I shouldn't have ripped off a church. Fanatics are dangerous. I'm getting out of here. It will be done. Oh. Said that just to scare him off. He doesn't have the ring. I, I, once he said... He swore he said he didn't have it. I just felt that he didn't. It's obvious. He has the gold. Let him keep it. It's not like we have uh, real use of it anymore. Anyways, we always need gold. Everyone needs gold. But for our purposes to defeat Arenicus, gold is not the prime means of getting better equipment anymore. We have as about as good as that we'll get, we can get. So on top of the copper coronet... Nice not to hear Lilacor banter all the time anymore. Now that Minsk has him in his pack sheathed and covered, Lilacor can't really make it any more noise. But he, he said on top of the copper coronet. Red, uh, house with red brick wall and red slate shingles. There I'll find someone named Borno who has the ring I see. Red brick. Everything is red bricked. Perhaps I mean this place, so it's a home over here. This <coughs> is the temple up there. Okay, it's locked. Anyone? Gotcha. Just to be sure, check for traps, please. Don't see any. Let's go in. Certainly. Ah, oh, I know a discerning eye when I see one. What in the hell's you want in here? I don't deal with common street-walking trash. I got clientele that makes appointments, and I ain't got time for you. Hmm. I paid Traven 400 gold to find you, so you damn well better talk to me. Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you, but you've been ripped off. He's just an errand boy, and you paid him gold he wasn't due. My fee is derived directly from the church, not some back alley handoff. Hmm. Then his soul is surely to be doomed for cheating a servant of the church. Yes, well, regrets to be dealt with another day. You say you have come to take delivery of something? That would be the dawn ring, would it not? I shall be glad to be rid of it. I have felt the eyes of the celestial upon me each and every minute I have had it. Just one more simple test before you go. Oh no. Um, what is your request? This will only t uh, be but a moment. I must be sure I'm giving it to the proper person when dealing with the Talassians. A mistake would be the death of me. It is a simple matter, really. Swear your devotion to Talos. I would never do that. What game is this? Why would you ask me this? It is a simple matter, really. I am to deliver this to a person, servant of Talos. If you are said servant, you will not balk at declaring your allegiance. You would most certainly uh, likely revel in it. But if you are not a follower of Talos, you will not swear to him even in jest. To do so would be to deny your own faith, or even worse, to bring the attention of Talos upon you. So I ask you, are you currently in the service of Talos? Are you loyal to him and him alone? And may he strike you down if you are lying. 
I worship Lathander, not Talos. And you can't, you can, you can't do that. You can't just because, as you said, <laughs> the gods will pay attention, and I'm not going to get the evil Church of Talos on my case over this. I've been requested by the Morning Lord's Temple. This ends here. I am not unprotected. If you wish a fight, you will have one. To my side. Good. I'm sure that this will be no problem. I didn't want bloodshed, but... Time to use my swords. What is it? As I said, I did not want bloodshed. It's this ring, the dawn ring. This would be it. These rings are often found in possession of those who worship Lathander, the Morning Lord. Lathander espouses the principles of creativity and prosperity and believes that pride is a sinful trait that requires smothering. I am listening. Okay, so yep, let's go to look. Go. go search and see if there's any treasure in here. These are just low, low level thieves. These aren't adventures of note. Nothing to be worried about. Oh, a magically enchanted warhammer, which we can sell. What do you want? Right, you are. It's a chest over here. No traps. A little bit of gold. Okay, well, it this has be been done. dealt with. Let's return to the temple, to the Morning Lord. Quickly and precisely. We're back. We have Without the ring. Hesitation. You return triumphant. Oh, the Talassians will rue the day they dared defile the home of the Thander. Your service has been exceptional. I wish you were a member of our temple. You would have been a fine cleric had your life taken another path. I thank you. Well, nonetheless, I worship Lathander. Regardless, I just never felt the calling to be a cleric. This will not take long. All right. Well, do we have our help? Go to the graveyard. We didn't. No one even took a nick from, from a blade or or arrow when fighting those thieves. So, what's this? You are becoming an impressive pest, one that I am finding difficult to ignore. Really, Bodhi? Honestly, Oren, I simply do not know what to do with you. I grow tired of seeing you in my shadow. I am not the one that fled our last encounter, Bodhi. Sorry if I scared you. Hardly. It was simply more important that I report of your condition to Arenicus. He has decided that it is of no importance. Interesting though it is. Regardless, I have not the time to stand here discussing what you will or will not do. I have more important duties to take care of. You follow in the hopes of retrieving something dear to you. I say that the longer you keep this up, the more you will lose. Look at the valiant Sir Jantus. He goes to such trouble to protect you from evil. It is always so frightening when something attacks a mate, yes? Don't even think about it, Bodhi. I will not allow you to harm Orin. Little fool, you yourself will do it. Continue to follow me, Orin, and you will lose more than you can imagine. Now it begins. What? Welcome at my side, Sir Jantus. Well then, let's go. Uh, how? They just grabbed a Jantus and teleported over there? And all his equipment is left here. Um, by the gods. I can't believe you, Bodhi. Alright. We're gonna go straight into the lair with to pick up his things and go in there. We'll get him back. I swear it.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.